2021 Ford Bronco First Drive Review, Patience, Rewarded. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. We come to expect certain things from off-road vehicles, but none more so than a willingness to sacrifice on-road livability for dirt road capability. A Toyota 4Runner, for example, has all the grace and agility of a hippo, while the Jeep Wrangler takes steering inputs as mere suggestions. But we accept these drawbacks because the vehicles are incredibly fun in the dirt and on the rocks. The 2021 Ford Bronco has no such drawbacks. To be clear, there are things to dislike about the Bronco. But as an off-road vehicle that also works on the pavement, it's as good as the Land Rover Defender. As a pure off-roader, it can go wheel-to-wheel -wheel with the toughest Jeep Wrangler when the road turns to mud or sand. And as the reintroduction of an iconic nameplate, it's faithful to the core. The new Bronco is everything enthusiasts hoped it would be. Questions about the Bronco's off-road prowess have banged around the internet for the past year. Would it be as good as a Wrangler? Is its fancy independent front suspension a liability in the rough stuff? Is the Sasquatch pack all shirt and no trousers? And what about that manual gearbox and its crawler gear? Should I hold out for the upcoming Sasquatch slash manual combo? Yes, no, no, it's fine, and probably not. We uncovered those answers after half a day at the first of Ford's Bronco off rodeos, where we tested a four-door black diamond with a manual transmission, a two-door wild track, and a four-cylinder, two-door Badlands Sasquatch. For those that need a refresher, the Sasquatch pack swaps out a particular trim standard tire, which can be anything from 30-inch Bridgestone Dueler All Seasons on the base to 33-inch BF Goodrich KO2 All Terrains on the Badlands, for 35-inch Goodyear Territory mud tires and 17-inch beadlock capable wheels. It then adds a shorter 4.7 to 1 final drive ratio, front and rear lockers, if they aren't already standard, an uprated suspension, and Meteor will arches to accommodate the larger rubber. In short, if you plan on serious off-roading, you'll want to give the Sasquatch pack a long, hard look. Or just go for the wild track, which includes it as standard while also mandating the V6 engine. The main challenge of the first course, named Jalapeno, wasn't so much the terrain but managing the Bronco with a manual gearbox. The addition of a crawler gear provides more torque from a standstill, helping to get the SUV going over difficult obstacles. But the long clutch travel and vague catch point, combined with a throttle response we never really adjusted to, proved a challenge. The second course, Abanero, and the wild track were a substantial change, featuring more difficult terrain, water fording, the Bronco can manage up to 33, 5 inches in wild track slash Sasquatch trim, and regular management of the front and rear lockers. Where a Jeep only allows the front locker to engage when the rear is on, the Bronco can lock its diffs independently of each other. Admittedly, you're unlikely to encounter a situation off-road where you'd need this flexibility, but it's cool from an engineering standpoint. Ford's positioning of the main off-road controls atop the dash and the auxiliary switches above is a big upgrade from the Wrangler, too, which places them at the bottom of the center stack. The rubberized buttons have an excellent action and are easy to reach. But it was the third route, Ghost Pepper, that proved the most entertaining, with steep rock faces that led to plenty of nose in the sky antics. We relied more heavily on trail control, trail one pedal driving, and the Bronco's impressive camera suite, that last item part of the $2,790 high equipment pack, to get through. In practice, trail control is addicting. While you could argue that it takes some of the fun out of off-roading, a lot of the anxiety vanishes too. Engage it by pressing a button at the center of the goat mode dial, set your speed on the steering wheel, and focus on your line as the Bronco trundles along. Tap the brakes if you need to assess the situation, and once you let off, it keeps on keeping on. And unlike the similar system on the Jeep Wrangler, Ford's version works in two-wheel drive, four-high, and low-range. Calling trail control off-road cruise control is a tired description, but it's an accurate one too.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.